This is about as close as many of us will ever get to Campbell Island. That's right, it stars on the back of our own $5 note. But our lack of knowledge is hardly surprising. This World Heritage Site is halfway between Stewart Island and Antarctica, meaning visits are few and far between. It's a botanical wonderland, and one our own Colin Merck knows very well, having studied it for over 40 years. And in just a few days, he'll lead a team on a two-month expedition back to the island. Teams will study the geology, history and archaeology, plant evolution and the impacts of humans. Then there's the um, uh, fr freshwater biology team. There hasn't been a lot of research done on the ponds and streams and rivers of, of Campbell Island. Uh, so uh, there's a group looking at that. And then there's a terrestrial ecology team, which I'm uh, primarily involved with, um, filling in um, the last uh, sort of stage of a 40-year um, study of the vegetation change associated with the removal of the sheep on the island in, in 1970 um, and also uh, the successful eradication of rats in 2001 and the effect of that on uh, invertebrate fauna and, um, and some of the bird species there. The trip marks the bicentennial of the island's discovery and it's also an opportunity, Colin says, to pass on the baton to younger scientists. Yes, yeah, some of us are not uh, as young as we used to be. Uh, the reality is that you have to kind of uh, know when it's time to draw some of that work to some kind of conclusion and also pass on the, um, you know, the knowledge and the locations of permanent plots and all that kind of thing. It's windy, wild and wet, but maintains a strong appeal for Colin. It's a volcanic island, looks a little bit like Banks Peninsula actually and from approximately the same period of time, about sort of 12 million years ago. Um, the, possibly it was uh, um, glaciated. Um, the vegetation is sort of tundra-like, um, of uh, s scrub and tussock and uh, short um, uh, cushion vegetation, um, a bit like our mountains above Timberline. And it's a place that the public will have the chance to learn more about in the months after the expedition. Of course we have a, a website uh, which is www.campbellisland.org.nz uh, that has a lot of details about uh, the outputs and future um, dis uh, exhibitions or displays that we'll have, um, public lectures that we'll give and of course a lot of um, uh, even streaming live uh, um, images back uh, while we're on the expedition. Finally, if you like the look of the place, you might like to donate one or two of these to help us all learn more about this remarkable island. So even though you go in just a couple of weeks, it's not too late to donate. <laughs> That's right, the website uh, has got a, uh, a way that you can contribute to our survival on, on Campbell Island. Uh, we're still needing more resources, so if anyone feels uh, so moved, we're we're there, <laughs> happy to receive your contributions.